Welcome everyone. It's a special day, special occasion for us. And a nice surprise Khaled with the folklore dancing from, from Jeddah. And we meet here today really to celebrate. First, before I start, I'd like to welcome our global CEO. Just got appointed. about 10 weeks ago to Johnson Controls. And it gives us a great pleasure and it's an honor for us, for Saudi, to be top destination uh, for you during your first three months assignment. So thank you very much, uh, Joachim. Today, there are a couple of things that we'd like to celebrate. And really, it's been a long, successful journey for us here in King Abdullah Economic City. As a company, Johnson Controls got established about 140 years ago. And we just celebrated the 140 years anniversary, 1st of May. In Saudi, the company has been around for at least 80 years. And the first projects that we've commissioned in Saudi was Al Kandra Palace here in Jeddah, some 80 years ago. And for our joint venture, it got established almost 40 years ago. And this manufacturing facility is not our first. We established our first manufacturing facility in, two, in the year of 2000. For those that are familiar with Jeddah, it was the east side of the airport. We came to King Abdullah Economic City about five years ago. And I wanted to summarize it for our chairman today. I said, as of last year, we've almost imported 70% of what we sell. 70% of what we've sold in Saudi was imported products. We're ending 2024 with almost manufacturing 80% of what we sell in Saudi. And this is really a testament to what Saudi is trying to achieve. I know we have lots of partners today from different organizations, from the private sector and from the government sector. But what the kingdom has created over the past few years is the ecosystem to incentivize private companies to expand their operations in Saudi. And luckily, we have what it takes to win and to sustain our success in Saudi and even, even grow it. So what we'll be talking about today, brief history. And I just talked about some of that, that history. But the company today in Saudi is an RHQ company. We are managing more than one country within, within, within Saudi. But we're also expanding to about 26 different countries across the globe. As a company, we operate in about five different geographies. We have about 2,900 people under the Johnson Controls Arabia umbrella. And that actually has helped us to serve our clients. And when I say serve our clients, today we pride ourselves for being able not only to sell products, but we're able to sell solutions. And what that means is you work with your clients closely from design stage. You work with the building owners, you work with the facility managers, you work with your contractors and consultants and end clients to serve their needs, whatever those needs might be. So we do have a, a full-fledged R&D facility attached to this factory. We do have testing facilities and today we're going to be inaugurating our latest testing facility that will be talking more about it. First of its kind 
in the entire Mid Middle East region. And we'll talk more about that in the upcoming, upcoming slides. Uh, but the company have installed 2.5 million tons of coolings. That makes us one of the largest in the world in terms of the cooling capacity that got installed by a single manufacturer, by a single company. We've also, when we talk about our capabilities, not only about the cooling, but it's about the total offerings we have. We've also installed 2.5 million data points, and that allows us to combine the, eight, the IT and the OT, the operational technologies and the, op the uh, information technology under one, one umbrella. And I'm talking about lots of building management systems, lots of security systems, lots of fire protection systems that we've installed as, 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 as a company in Saudi and in our, in, our, in our region. This manufacturing facility has about 11 production line. And they've started incrementally. So when we first moved here, we've had almost four or five. And over the past four or five years, we kept expanding and kept having more offerings for our, 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 our clients. And again, we didn't do it in isolation. We did it in cooperation with partners that are, many are here actually with us, with us today. And I'd like to call it, we were able to combine the indigenous knowledge, what is available already in Saudi in the region, with the best international practices. So many of the transfer of technologies that we did in this factory came about as a result of cooperation with our team in the US, in China, and in other, other geographies. Part of Johnson Control's global footprint and the engineering capabilities we have as a company is, is truly a true differentiator for us in Saudi, globally, and also in the Middle East region. This facility, is, when it was built, it wasn't built only to cater for the Saudi market. It was built for the Saudi market and also for the regional market. And that's why I said we are exporting to 26 different countries. Last year, we celebrated our first export to the U.S. market. And luckily, we have done so well that we are now actually getting more orders to cater for the United States uh, market. When it comes to manufacturing, this facility is about 200,000 square meter. And under one roof, you see products from small residential applications to a mega and giga jobs, 600 tons chillers offerings. And, and, and truly, when it come, when we talk to clients, we actually celebrated today. Where we visited two major real estate investors in in in, uh, in Jeddah, and one was sharing with us. He said, "Truly, the, the reason why I chose to deal with York because of the engineering capabilities. It's the visit that we made to your manufacturing facility. It's our trust that you'll be able to deliver." and sustain and operate your equipments. And for us, it's not one project, but it's more of a 20, 30 years relationship. And, and, and this is, I mean, why this factory was visited last year by almost 3,000 people. And I'm talking about college students, I'm talking about consultants, end users, potential suppliers, and, and customers. And Muhammad Al Ali, my colleague here, the plant manager, will be speaking more about our new labs and the new products that will be launching this week. And I'm talking mainly about the screw YVAA mode B technology. 
And when I talk about this particular product, I'm talking about the jewel of air conditioning. I'm talking about the products that's best in class when it comes to environmental consideration vis-a-vis -vis refrigerant, vis-a-vis -vis the efficiency of the product and, and the safety standards of the, of, the, of the products. And this particular product was just launched this week for the Saudi market, for the regional uh, market. As I said, we export to 20, 26 different countries. But I always like to remind our partners, it's not a panacea. And I'll tell you why it's not. We use almost 280 suppliers in this factory. We use about 40,000 different parts in this factory. And my colleagues from Johnson always telling me, you do too much manufacturing under one umbrella. So when we talk to partners, we try to encourage as many as we can to set up their manufacturing also facilities around us because it will help us to improve on our supply chain resilience. It will also help us to achieve our local content targets. So the road and our expansion is not really complete yet. It's, it's a journey. And happy to see Exim Bank with us today. Happy to see our colleagues from the PIF here uh, today. Happy to see our, the CEO of the port uh, here, King Abdullah Economic City Port. Happy to see many others because truly this is what makes, makes us stronger. And I always talk about positive synergy. One plus one is equal four. And to see us working together with customers, suppliers, regulators in one environment closely, that will not only in, in, enhance us and make, it, make us stronger, but will make the entire ecosystem uh, stronger. And this is just a sample of the products that we manufacture in, in this facility. And hopefully you, you'll, you'll move around and we'll talk as we move around production more about the specific of what we do in, in this manufacturing uh, facility. And this is another product that we're celebrating that we'll be manufacturing here talking about chiller technology using VSD technology that will be shipping this for the US for the US market and soon will be also able to use it for 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 the region I'm talking about the YAME uh, chiller chiller technology <clears throat> and this is what I talked about the YVEA mode B.